Hi, it's Tessa and I'm here today because I had a request from one of my subscribers to do a comparison of the two um, makeup sponges. The first one being the Beauty Blender and the next one being the Real Technique sponge. Um, they do look different. This one has a flat spot and a point and this one's like round and um, it's stiffer. This one has a stiffer feel than this. Now these are dry. I'm going to wet them now and then I'm going to apply my Revlon Color Stay in 200 Nude. I don't find myself grabbing for the sponges that often. I feel like the only time that I really want to use them is in the winter when my skin is dry and with a very thick foundation. Other than that, I really prefer to use a brush. And I really prefer to use a brush most of the time, but this foundation works really good with the makeup sponges. So I'm going to wet these. This is what they look like when they're dry. I'm just going to run them under cold water here. <laughs> just happen to be right by the sink. So you just twist it around in your hand and squeeze it. Squeeze it all out. And then I'm going to rub my hand on the towel just to get out any excess moisture. And now you can really see how much bigger it got compared to the little beauty blender. And you can see how mushy this is now. This is very firm dry. This is very mushy. I'm going to wet this one. You can use cold water or warm water. It doesn't matter. I like to use cold water because it feels really good on my face. But it's not feeling very good on my hands right now. So add a little warm. Now wet this. And then Squeeze it out and dry it on a towel as well. So my hands are dry and the Beauty Blender is dry. And now you can see that it grew in size as well. Let me turn this around like this. But this one is definitely a lot bigger. See, so yeah, this one's like firm and this one's real mushy. Like I can squeeze this. It takes a lot longer to squeeze this one. All right, so I'm going to take off my glasses and I'm going to do this side of my face with the Beauty Blender and this side of my face with the Real Techniques. So I'm going to put my foundation on and hopefully I can film this pretty well. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put foundation all over my face. And hopefully I can not forget what I'm doing and get carried away. I'm going to put extra under my eyes because I forgot to bring concealer in, I think. I did. All right. So, here we go. Real techniques. No, I'm sorry. I'm screwing up already. Beauty blender on this side of my face. I'm going to actually pick up the mirror so I can see what I'm doing. So, you just stamp it all over your face. This is what it looks like when you're putting it on. The one thing about the Beauty Blender is it does really do a good job of dispersing the liquid foundation. And especially like me, I have very dry skin. It's snowing and blowing out. It makes it worse. And then you can really squeeze the tip of this to get around your eye. So, there we go with that layer. And it does get very, very dirty. That's okay. It, it pretty much rinses out. Now I'm going to go in with the Real Techniques sponge. And I don't think this spreads the makeup around quite as easy and efficiently as the Beauty Blender does. It kind of isn't firm enough. Does it work overall? Yeah. You can definitely get it to work. I'm going to try the flat side. The flat side works better. Go around my mouth, around my eyes. Okay. So I have them both blended out now. Hold on a second. 
All right, so they're both blended out now, and quite frankly, it pretty much looks exactly the same. This one's a little more work to get it to work, but it's $5.99. This is $20. Um, I think at $5.99, this one is definitely a doable dupe because you could buy almost well, three for sure, three of these to one of these. And you do have to replace them because they do start to break down. I'm going to add one more light layer of foundation on my face because that's what I usually do. And then I'm going to finish the rest of my look. So in conclusion, I would say that I got to put some extra up on my eyes because like I said, I forgot to do concealer. I don't know how I did that. I'm going to apply that with my fingers and place a concealer. All right. So back in with the beauty blender. I do like the beauty blender. Um, it does a really, really good job. Is it worth $20? It depends on how often you use it. If you're not going to use it that often, I wouldn't bother. If you prefer to use a brush, you don't really need the beauty blender. If you think you might like a beauty blender, but you're not sure, grab this for $5.99 at Ulta. You can even buy two and get a $3.50 coupon and then you'd really be ahead of the game. I'm going to just pat this over here. So I would say they apply makeup the same. It just takes a little longer, whoops, sorry, with the Real Techniques sponge than with the Beauty Blender sponge. So my foundation is on. Both of these work great and they're going to need cleaned after each application so you don't get any breakouts. Now I'm going to finish my face. I already did my eyebrows earlier, so I'm going to not worry about them. I'm going to apply my Cody Airspun Face Powder. And this is in Translucent Extra Coverage with my e.l.f. Kabuki. And I took out the insert because it was almost gone, so I'm just using it up. I'm going to powder my face. Just tap it off in the lid. Pat this into your skin. Get under your eyes to set that under eye stuff. I'm going to go down my neck. Let me grab my mirror here so I can see what I'm doing. It's hard to do this with glasses on because I can't see it very well. All right. So there's that. Powder is applied. Now I'm going to go in with my bronzer, which is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer in Sunny. And I've almost hit pan. I can almost see the pan on that now. And this is just the $5 Walmart brush. I'm just going to go around my hairline. Down the sides of my nose and a little on my cheek area. I think you all know that I don't contour, so I just use this to warm up my face a bit. There's that. Now, I bought something new. And I used it yesterday, and that was the only time I've ever used it. And I'm not sure if it actually did anything, but I ordered two NARS products, and I've never owned anything by NARS before. So this is the NARS Translucent Crystal Light Reflecting Setting Powder in Loose. They also have it in Press, but I bought the Loose. And it has a little sifter inside, and it's a mess, you can see. Um, and I'm just going to use this Face Secrets Powder Brush from Sally's Beauty Supply, and I'm going to just swirl ever so lightly in the cap. Just You can hardly even see any product on there. And I'm going to just dust this all over my face. You literally need, I'm not going to use a highlighter today because I'm just going to use this ever so lightly all over my face. I don't know. I'm going to have to use it some more to really see what I think about it. Now for blush, I'm going to use the BH Cosmetics Rose Blush Duo. Um, and it looks like this. And I'm going to mix these two colors together with my Real Techniques Blush Brush. 
So I'm just going to lightly pat. These are so highly pigmented. You don't need much at all. I'm just going to rub that on my cheek. Very, very pigmented. Okay. That is it for blush. And let me get the mirror closer to me so I can actually see. All right. And then I'm going to blend all that together with my kabuki again. I'm going to put my glasses on. And I'm going to apply my Elme um, Apple a Day Liquid li Lip Balm. <laughs> Looks like this. Okay, and this just has a doe foot applicator, and I'm going to apply that here. Can't talk and apply lip product at the same time. I really like this. I'm not a fan of Elmay in general, but I do like it. Yesterday I bought the Elme, one of the mascaras, one of the one coat mascaras, but I'm not going to open it and try it until after I've used up other mascaras that I have open. All right. This is the completed face look using the Beauty Blender and the Real Techniques sponge. Um, I think for the amount of money that you're going to spend on this at $20, this is a good one to get in its place. Um, they both apply the same well, they, they both apply the same when it comes to how the finished product looks on your skin, but this one does take a little more effort because it's not as stiff as this one. So, all right, thanks for watching, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.